Hi guys, welcome back. This is episode 2 of Classified France 44. We are going to be doing the Operation Backlight, as you can see in the middle. And this is going to be for the Sami Alami, the new character recruit which I haven't had before. But before we do that, we're going to go to Tasks. And we've got, let me just show you, we've got uh, uh, five guys here now. Obviously only four can come on the mission. So we're going to go Tasks and we're going to go Aid Faction. And I want Johnson to... Or let's deploy him. I want him to be uh, supporting this faction. And the reason for that is, let me show you. Come on. The criminals over there on the right, they have got the best knife early, early on. So there we go. The Ecorn, Icorn or something. Uh, it has 6 damage, 3 crit and 39 moral, moral damage, should I say. Morale. <laughs> moral, morale, same thing. But uh, the other ones have way less, so I want to gun for that knife straight away, like I was saying in the previous ones. Alright, let's get going. So we're going to choose our standing four characters, and what I want to do here is do what I said I was going to do before missions instead of off, off the missions, is to look at the gear. So I always push square twice to go by damage. Okay, he's got the best handgun, best knife, and he's got the Granada. Let's go to Mr. King. Uh, King is a medic, so we want him to have the grenade as well and uh, is that one better it's better damage but less morale let's keep that on him actually then Ballinger we're gonna have M911 no we're gonna have this one he's got this one already 3.2 that's fine we're gonna go for the morale damage anyway melee is the knife grenade is the grenade and Tremblay he has the Thompson and let's see here we'll keep that weapon on there the knife and grenade is good all right let's get cracking Actually, wait, no. Just want to see the um, the stats, the skills. Make sure everyone's got no skills. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. This is where all German fueling logistics are handled for the region. I will wiretap their radios. You focus on keeping them distracted and make sure we get out of here with that schedule. All right, let's crack on. So we're going to go to Tremblay. I think he has the uh, silent hold to cut and makes a noise I thought somebody had the uh, the silent that's gonna make a noise that's gonna make a noise I think we're all gonna make a noise here but uh, I don't want Trembly to do the cutting let's just get the next guy closest to him to do it that's Trembly and then we're gonna have that character let's go <clears throat> hope they fix that zooming thing as well I just want to stay here in this zoom the second I go to another character it zooms out but we are not here to complain, we are here to play. So let's get Tremblay and see if we can modulate someone. Fire. No, we can't. Cannot tell you why either. Let's get a bit closer. What's he going to turn around? Okay, let's just get them all in then. Looks like that's going to be the case. Can't wait for the update to give the uh, ability to control other characters while you're still busy with uh, other characters. So we're going to put this guy way down here. Got the left side of the house. Uh, we can, no, we'll leave him there. Uh, we can put him against the barrel, the uh, fence cutter. And we'll get someone else right on this side. We want two guys to go into the building, one on the outside. And let's go. Let's increase that patrol speed, pushing triangle. Come on, fellas. Let me zoom in. He didn't move. I wonder why I couldn't take out that first character. Okay, yes. let's go. I want Trembly to do all of the uh, the knifing. There we go. So now, which is very important, I didn't say in my tutorial, you can choose any of these yellow squares, obviously not that side, but to where you want to attack from. So obviously, over here is going to be worse than nicely tucked away in the corner. So let's go into the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and that was Felix, was it? Yeah. Doesn't matter who kills enemies, you don't get, you don't get experience from any of them. But, if we have a look on the top left, kill three enemies without being detected, and wiretap the radios. That's all we have to do for the experience. Uh, let's see, no one can reach him with a knife. Yes, we can. Suck him. And I think also it would be cool if we could uh, speed up our own movement as well. That was also mentioned on one of the... Uh, Discord posts. 
Now, we're going to see, do we have enough AP? Only Henry can do that. Which is why. So there we go. He's going to go over there. He's the only one who can do the radio. Okay, let's just take a look around here now, guys. So we have someone over here. I know from the first playthrough that this guy just goes left and right. Either side of this. There's one guy over here that's looking down. There's a guard post there. There's a guard post there. I can take him out with a sniper rifle. But there are some guards over here we're going to take out silently. Hence the movement of this fella. So we're going to bring this guy all the way down here. Moving. <clears throat> let's get some... Uh, forward motion here. Turn my volume up again for some ambiance. Now last time I brought someone around this side as well to kind of get in there and I think it might be a good idea if I've got guys on the bridge attacking from this side if I have two guys down here flanking potentially. Let's do that. So we've got to have uh, Vatel has to stay here to do that and who's with you here? Trembly. So I want Trembly to come this side because he's going to be doing more sneaking. Although it doesn't really matter at the moment, so let's just take the two soldiers and go. So, let's just put him as far as he can go. And we'll put this fella, might as well be in the bush. When you're in the bush, even if there's an enemy next to you, he cannot see you. There we go. Patrol speed is maximized. Can't wait to try some of those missions that the... Team 17 created. There's actually a, a really some DLC, well not DLC, but a little add-on, a map add-on and some uh, apparel. Okay, we're going to quick save right there because why not? Now we're going to get this guy right up here in the bridge because these guys keep turning around and they keep changing positions. So we're going to wait for our window of opportunity. Uh, let's get the one thing out of the way here. Come on. There we go. It takes a little while sometimes for it to just register what's cutting. That will keep them distracted. It will. Okay, so we'll make him go down that side and we'll bring this fella this direction. And again, we don't need to be in cover at the moment. So sneak. <laughs> and we don't want to get too far ahead of this fella. That we want them to be together, but I can just create a, a hole for now. There we go. And we're just going to stay right there. Moving it's out. not going to see me. This fella's going to come all the way up. Let's see where he can be guarded. Maybe there. Uh, we could go on that side. Yeah, that looks like a good one. Let's put it this side. Of course, yeah, we can do that. And it's high cover. But we need one more stealth kill, and then we can go loud. But if you look at the top of the screen, it's only going to give me one more stealth kill before it forces me to go loud. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, I guess it's stopping you from being stealthy the entire mission. Um, can't think of any, any other reason why I would start that. But uh, I don't hate it. It's a new feature and uh, we must adapt. Come on, little fellas. I've got some double-edged blades I want to introduce you to. Oh, did he get seen? Wow, that was close. Hey, look at that. In the top right of the screen. <laughs> He's just one square away. Okay, so we don't want to attack him with a knife yet. We just want to get a little bit closer so we can potentially get the guy in the distance and this guy because we don't want to attack this last guy because uh, we're going to go loud afterwards. So we want to make sure all our soldiers are where we want them to be. I'd love to tell him to hunker down or something now, but we don't want to attack or anything. Um, we need this guy to be ready to shoot as well. If both of these guys are going to get knifed, the next guy to get shot is going to be the guy in the tower. And I want the guy with the sniper rifle right there. Because he has... Oh no, where's my sniper kill? There it is there. So zero right here. The sniper insufficient AP. So he's the one that I want to leave here. And use this character and this one to kill those enemies. So he can shoot that guy in the guard tower straight away. <clears throat> so I don't know what uh, firepower he's packing. But it can't be good. Thompson. And let's get this guy going down here as far as he can. Let's have some coffee. <clears throat> Yum. Okay, and as you can see, this guy is now there. So we want to come as close as we can down here. But uh, as you can see, we want to make sure he goes around that. Oh, 
There we go. Lots more guys over there. We're cool to go. I wonder if you can use a satchel charge for that. Anyway, we need... Uh, let me just get my bearing. Let's just get these guys done. So he's done. Uh, he's done. He's done. And those two are done. Yeah. You can also look on the side of the screen on the left-hand side. And it'll tell you how many move points they have left. Or action points, should I say. Move what you want. Okay, so let's see. He's gonna. Prob I'm probably gonna have to wait one more turn if these guys turn around. They do. There's a chance I can kill him because the square is empty next to him. There's a chance I can kill this guy without being noticed. Check. No. No. He's gonna see me. Good. That would have been a bit silly. Okay, so I want him to be left behind. I need him. Oh, well, he's got the sniper ability, so I need that guy and this guy. So I can move him a bit closer. And we'll wait till the next turn till they turn around. Those guys can all just stay exactly where they are. Uh, this fella can come a bit closer, but not all the way close, because the guy, I think there's a red block down there. And then we're just going to move this guy all the way down as well in preparation. <coughs> there we go. And we're going to end our turn right there. And there is the second, uh, the top left corner. You can see the secondary objective, which are all primary objectives, to be honest, because they all got to get done. And this fella. You can't see me. Now hopefully he just stays there, and that guy walks to the other side, and we can launch this attack. It would be cool if we could do it at the same time. Okay, we're going to quick save right there. So I need him. To attack him. Oh, I think that's why it says alerted because everything's going to be alerted after this. Let's take the one that's further away, but again, we want to be against the bridge over there. So when you finish attacking, he's got some cover. At the same time, I want to make sure this guy has line of sight. To the guard post. No, he doesn't. So luckily I tested that. We're going to have to wait one more round here, which is fine. I'm just going to skip ahead i might just skip ahead now until the guards are facing this direction again guys okay so i just skipped two turns there let me just see if this guy can see that dude can you get him from there now you can get him 84 85 85 so we can move him to 85 but we need to make sure that six isn't glowing over there on the left hand side so we can move him there ready to shoot then we can start attacking Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so again, we're going to make sure we're against the wall for any protection that we can get. And this is going to be finishing off a uh, an objective on the top left over there. Now, oh, they're suspicious. They're not uh, aware yet, are they? Yep, they got them. Now they're aware. So, now we're going to take our other character over here. And we could slice... And this guy needs to go for this one. So let's go. No, not him. You need me. I do. <coughs> Hurt him. There we go. Because that sniper is nasty over there. This guy, can he attack him in one hit? No. I forgot about that. Uh, can What's we get plan? him in two hits then? What do you want? Let's stand that side. Let's do that. What do want? He's not going to die. But, uh, which is why I send guys in pairs. I'm just picturing two guys sitting in a pair. But uh, we need to have two guys attacking. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. Let's go. Okay, so this fella, he's going to take half health. And then I can potentially snipe him. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. Alright, what have you got here? So, come on. No one in sight, hey? What if we go one step closer? It's 11, 10, 9, 8, so we can go quite far. Let's just go there. There we go. So, I can take out... That is not going to do anything. Oh, I can't see the barrel, really? 
Can I go touch closer? There we go. Yeah, let's do that. And then I want to use the barrel shot here, not the enemy. There we go. Two little ooze. Here we go. There's a lot of overwatchers going there, but they don't know I've got two guys on the right hand side. And let's see. Uh, can this guy take anyone else out? No, he can't see anyone else. Strange enough, he can't see that barrel either. Why is that? I can't cycle to the barrel. Oh, maybe he just can't see it over this edge here. Makes sense. But later on, we're going to have enemies coming from this side over here. We're going to have some enemies coming from there. And some enemies coming from there. So, what I want to do, which is what I didn't do last time, is kind of create my area around the tower here. There's no high cover at the top of the tower. But at the bottom of the tower, there's tons of high cover. So, we can see where his uh, overwatch starts here. If I come over here, as you can see, there's a, two green lines. One is going to him, one is coming over here. But I'm also going to leave myself exposed. So I don't want to do that just yet. Let's just bring this over here. And I need one shot. But I have to want to go over here or nowhere. I need the high cover. So I want to come into the bush over here. I don't know if these guys can see me. I think I am detected. So I can't have the bush. I need proper cover. Let's, uh, let's come down this way. I don't want to walk through there, but I can go you one guy me? inside, just put him there. It's not so... Oh, there we go. Now here's the trench gun, so we can have a shot at him. 50% and 50%. See the morale damage. See over here, I want to kind of go for the further one. Although they're both the same, let's do it. Now I could potentially get them both... Broken with this shot. No. Uh, three for the grenade. No. 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 Can we come up here? No. So, we're going to come stand over here. No, we're not. We're going to stay where we are and just do... And just do the overwatch because I don't want to put him in a vulnerable position. Maybe someone will run to the edge here. Okay. So... No, we don't want you to do that. Uh, let's do this guy first. He can't see anyone either. But we can do quite a big overwatch. And he's got the infield, you will be able to see him. But just not enough AP. So let's use the overwatch again. As far as we can go. I'll be honest, I would prefer, if I select overwatch now, just to have a big permanent cone reaching out now as far as it can go. And then all I do is say what direction I want it to go in. This whole pulling it forward... It's, it's, it's obvious. I want it to go as far as it can. But, uh... It is what it is right now, which is awesome. Okay, so he does have the morale, but that's fine. So this guy, he does have six, and I can't get into a position to have a shot safely. So I think we're just going to do the overwatch again, as well. We've got two blocks of overwatch there. Go. That heavy gun is brutal. He's got me suppressed in one one shot. Shoot him! Oh yeah. Another one. No, he's gonna shoot at my guys. He's gonna shoot through the tower. I suppose there are gaps through the tower, aren't there? Okay, here we go. Come to the edge. Okay, we need to start flanking these guys. This was the whole reason. It just takes too much to get up there. I don't know if they can see me or not. I'm just gonna go. Fuck, this is taking too long. Maybe they'll be obscured. And the other fella. Can you get to high cover? Yes, you can. Trench gun, good. I prefer a trench gun here because there's multiple enemies in a small area. So we can go for that guy and take off morale. Because we're just going for morale. The damage is probably not going to happen. But we could go for that car. And we get 48% chance of killing that soldier. And this is only 58. So, you know what? Let's go for the car. Mm. Missed him? Yeah, I'd missed him. I and he took off a tiny bit of the car. Should have thrown a grenade there, no doubt. Okay, so now we have zero chance for hitting that guy. Let's move I'm my guys a bit forward here. Um, do we have a target? Yes, we do. 82%. And what about the other character here? 
38. We have a barrel. That's not going to hit anything. So, if I move him even closer. What about there? No. How about there? Seriously? Oh, I've only got six because I'm suppressed. Yeah. Okay, John. Wake up. Where's oh. my morale guy? There he is. So I could use three of that to max out the morale of my character next to me. Now, with the same character, I can use it to do the 82% shot there. Toodles, bitch. Now I can move my character a bit closer and still maintain my... Oh, he's got no ammo. <laughs> Unlucky. Reload your weapon. Oh, I'm on the wrong character. There we go. He's got lots of ammo. So from here, I can see 95% of that guy. And over here, 65, 64. So I think if we go there, we have a good chance of taking that guy out. He's probably going to get shot at. But this is why we have perks. Oh, I really wish it would just stay that focused. Yep. That's that zoomed in here. It's, uh, the devs are watching. This is it's so vital. It's, from here to here, there, there is such a big difference. Here, just looks like a character glowing. Here, well, not there. But uh, other ones, you can see every detail. It's just, it's, I wish it would stay at that, at that zoom. But nonetheless, we're going to go to this one. It really should choose the highest, <laughs> the highest one first. Okay, 0%, 0, 0, 0, 0, we have one more chance here. So we're going to move him forward and see if we can get a grenade in there maybe. Yeah, let's have a look. How far can you throw? About there. Now, I don't know if that's 42% it's going to hit him or... I'm quite curious. Um, I don't want to do it. I want to go with the... Excuse me, I'm hiccuping. I just had a lunch. I'm going to go with the overwatch, although he can shoot me through that. So we'll just see how it happens. And uh, we don't need that guy. Let's in turn and have some coffee. See there? I got the spray damage from that guy. I should have got my shotgun guy right up against this fence on the right-hand side before doing this. He could run in and just hurt people. <clears throat> Give him lots of armor as well. Okay, so my dude over here... There is no high cover this side, except in there. So I'm just going to come up to this side here. <clears throat> Maybe this one. Let's have a look what we got. So, 67, 20, 100, 67. So we want him, and I don't have any perks to uh, reduce armor or anything like that yet. I can't wait to get to that stage. Okay, so I only need one shot to shoot, but I can... So it does end the turn. The knife as well is not going to be strong enough. Let's just go with the gun then. Right on, the money. on the money indeed. That's why they need to go in pairs. So this guy needs to pot shot him as well now. So I need only one shot with that, but I haven't... Oh, I needed to reload. What's your percentage here, sir? Oh, you can't even see him, hey? I need one shot to shoot. Mm, it's not letting me see him at all. Now I can see him, but I can't shoot. 34%. Okay, so who can I shoot at? 20%. You know what? I need that guy to start hurting soon. Look at the size of that grenade area. Beautiful. So we'll get a bit of the car as well. And he's 100%. Can I get more of the car? Yes, I can. Wait, does it give more of the car? Three left. Three. No, but we'll do it anyway. I love how precise the grenade throws are. Um... That was damage good, but of course it's for the morale damage to try and freeze him for the next turn. So here we have one more character. We are definitely going to... Oh, there's a dude right there. I didn't even see him. 40% on yep. that character. What about you, sir? 15%. And you. Reload. Do we have that sniper shot? Where is it? There it is there. One cooldown. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So what we want to do here is we want to use one character to shoot at him, which is this one. Nicely done. And now we can kill the next guy down here with a knife. But again, it's going to leave me very exposed. I could go there. Uh, can I shoot him? He's just below me. I don't want to... What's up? Hmm. If I come there, can I shoot him? No, he's too tucked away. I think I'm just going to use a grenade. Why not? You want me? 
Uh, you can see that guy, but you've got a high percent chance. No, you can't even see him. That's a bit weird, hey? Anyway, okay, we'll use this to shoot him to take away his morale. Oh, it actually hit him. Wow, 15%. And then this guy, we're going to use the grenade to take out the sneaky puff at it down here. Can I get him? 54% chance. 100% chance. Let's go. Good, good, good. He's broken, but he can still attacking. He's got a big gun as well. Okay, so we're going to quick save there for a fantastic round. The trench gun. Right. We need to get this guy scared. 0%. Um, can I hit the, the car? Does that make any damage on him? No. I need to flank him. From this side. So he's got no morale. Can I increase my morale? I need a cooldown of 2 right there. He's only got 6 AP. Um, knifing you can't get. So this fella can just shoot pretty much. You can shoot the car, but we're going to go for him. Uh, no, we do have a sniper shot, 70%. Uh, no, because... Mm, no, we're going to just try and break him. Mm, maybe I should have used it when I could have used it, but... We can go to some high cover. No, not high cover. 8%, 20%, we can break him that side, so that's what we'll do. We'll get some morale damage on him. I really do enjoy the morale aspect of this. Oh, shit, there's a guy over there as well. Uh, what about that guy I just moved? You need me. No. What did you do? Damage him. Because he's got a monster weapon there. Okay, good. That's good. Thompson, 15%. Now we can start moving our guys. Uh, he's got 12. So from here, I can still shoot. Which means we go. 63%, 53 now. 100%. Uh, he's broken. Which kind of is the same as dead. So no, we're not going to go there. I want to see if I can break that other guy over there while maintaining my cover. So we're going to come around this side. And it says I'm being flanked. Uh, maybe there's enough angle on that guy there for me to be flanked. But he's broken, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, what have we got? 12 shots. And we can still shoot here. Let's go. Who are we shooting? 31. That's what we're going to do. Although his morale is broken. So I actually want to go for the car. Make it a bit more dangerous down there. Because now the car's burning. You see, and that means it's going to auto explode. I'm not sure if it's the next turn or when, but it will. Uh, is that everyone done? We have 11, sh 11 AP with this fella. So we can come over here. Uh, can we come over here? We can. What can we see? Uh, 59? Yeah. Yeah, toodles. Big thorn in my side, that dude. Alright, what do you guys got, eh? Don't talk too quickly though, John. Wow, how did he take out... Oh, he probably... There's probably like a, a spray... A spray shot, because uh, I haven't ever used a heavy before. I didn't take the Australian guy in my first playthrough, so I'm super stoked. To be able to use a heavy, I just want to make him a tank, really. Okay, let's uh, let's quick save here and continue. All right, let's go. Uh, we have a grenade. Uh, I think grenade is calling me there, definitely. But I'm going to reload first because the grenade throw will end the turn. Oh, and I got no AP left. I should have thrown the grenade. <laughs> um, we can hurt the morale there, which uh, I will do last if needed. Although it makes no difference because he's not going to do anything else. Let's go. Scary, I know, right? Okay, what do we got? Uh, AP's full. He's only got half AP. We have one more cooldown on the uh, trumpet. So, let's see here. He's closest. Can you see anyone else? No, you can't. And you're not going to be able to move anywhere and shoot. Are you? Maybe just there. Trench gun. No, you can't get there. What about there? No chance. Uh, I think we're going to leave him for now. You want me? Oh, he needs to reload as well. Uh, no, we can't see anyone. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the... See, that's just so pointless. Unless they come this way. 
there's no point. If I can't break them, then there's no point in moving. So I guess, yeah, there's kind of nowhere we can go. And if we can shoot, I must shoot them. So let me do that. Shoot at them, should I say. Come on. Gotta get that morale down. Damn, I wish I'd use that grenade. So we're gonna go down to here. And he has to reload as well. What do you need? Anyone else have to reload before I continue? No. We? So, you're gonna come down here. You're not gonna have anywhere near enough AP to shoot. So, can we come there? Nope. Can we move one step closer? And then we're gonna overwatch. And he'll be able to overwatch a lot further than the others. I just don't know when these other enemies are going to arrive because then I'm screwed. Um, I think I just need to move this guy but I can't. I need to move him somewhere closer. And he's just going to get flanked there. There's nowhere to hide here. Can't hide behind that sign. Um, we could bring him around this way. Kind of go down the left flank there. Then this fella, he can shoot one now but he can't shoot anyone. So what about the overwatch? No, I guess we just gotta hope these guys come into this line of fire, which they probably won't. They're just gonna shoot. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so now we're gonna use the trumpet. Are we not? Quick save. Right. So he can't move. I don't even know if he can shoot, to be completely honest. Let's find out. I just quick saved. And we're gonna throw this grenade right at your damn feet. Now I know. Don't try and throw grenades. Grenade! But uh, since he didn't get any damage, I'll just leave it. Uh, can we come down here? We definitely out. can. Uh, should I should have taken the sniper this way. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to hold to grab that, but at the same time we need to reload. And I kind of want one of these guys to go up stairs. But first... Can we see him? We can't see him. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to move slowly, slightly anyway. Uh, he has need. He only needs one shot. Can we see them? We can see them there. I might be able to break him. And 20% chance of potentially killing him. Ah, oh, he's gone. Okay. I guess that I must have read that wrong or something because I wasn't expecting him to not have anything. Okay, so, we're going to overwatch this way again, although he's just going to turn around and shoot my guy anyway. And uh, this guy, I kind of want to get ready to go up the tower. I don't think he's going to be able to reach him. Is he? Well, I have to try. Let's just go here then. And we'll do the overwatch for the hell of it. And you... Yeah, we'll leave you where you are. Coffee. Okay, so he's still got some morale off me. Damn it. We do have more enemies incoming, so... <clears throat> he's only got half AP. Hmm. What's the plan? plan is to kill this guy. Go. <clears throat> only 35% chance. Moving out. Still 35. Yay! Now, I can prepare for the onslaught of the next guy. So what do we have here? A trench gun. Good. We can go there. And we're going to overwatch in this direction. <clears throat> Excuse me, because they're going to come thick and fast here. Uh, this guy, I want to come... Actually, I want to get these guys all in overwatch position first. Let's put him down here. Oh. I don't know if I'm misreading these things or not, but uh, that overwatch was not flashing red when I sent him down that hill. What's Let's just put him... Yeah, whatever. Let's go this way. And... Perfect. Oh no. We want to get him Moving. to be able to cover every angle. Here we go. The targets. And this fella, we want to get him to at least in a position to be able to shoot. Or maybe over here. Because the enemies haven't come in yet. I can kind of stand him in the middle of nowhere. There's three there, three there. Let's go down here. 
And now we're going to do Overwatch straight ahead. Hopefully we can take all those guys out before the other guys come. Uh, him I'm going to leave like that. He's like that. He's fine. He's fine. And let's go. Three guys. What do we got? Not a heavy. Shoot him then. In the open and he misses. You deserve to die now. Yeah, they kind of know where the Overwatch is, don't they? <laughs> the only position I was able to shoot someone was to, t to hit my guy as well. See, now I'd like to move my guy over here, but uh, my all my guys are shooting from this direction. So putting him anywhere in this direction is not a good idea. If I come over here, I still can't shoot. What about there? No, let's go this way. Oh, I've got no ammo. So if I, if I switch my pistol, at least I'll be able to hit one of them with something. And only 1% chance on that guy, 36. Let's shoot the other guy's weapons first. One shot, uh, we got 5%. See, the stats are just ridiculous. Let's do that. And this is begging for a grenade, let's be honest. Okay, they're all broken now. Pressure is off. Uh, can I at least maybe get one guy here? Good stuff. 10% chance to hit that one. And what do we got here? Yeah, let's go for the car rather. Let's get in close. 74, I'm still able to shoot both of them. Both of them dead? Ah, it doesn't look like he has any health, does it? If I switch to enemy, uh, health 5 of 5. Oh, he's got full health. So we do have this fella, but he is broken, so we might as well do 55 shot over there. No, we can't. What about from here? Here? Nope. Oh, he's, he's got 11. So I should be able to, to go there. Why isn't it going... Oh, now it's going white. There's still definitely a couple of bugs. We can go from there. We can shoot this guy 53. Nope. Well, he's not going anywhere. So let's go upstairs. Only Henry can do that. Oh, I knew that. Let's, uh, what do we need? We need six shots, six ammo. No, we can't do that. We can just go... Oh, wait. Yeah, let's try that. One more. Is it going to make a difference? It is. Okay, <clears throat> he is broken, so that's okay. Other enemies are probably going to come in soon. Okay, where's Henry? He was the guy hiding over there, wasn't he? Uh, that's sneaky. Vitell, is that Felix? Yeah, so Henry needs to come up here and grab this. As well as the secondary objectives up there. Um, do I want to knife him? I can't use that guy to shoot them yet. So we need six shots. 55. Come on. This is when you need that uh, sniper shot. Takes away 40% of cover, 85% chance. Let's do it. Toodles. That, uh, that's why I wanted to upgrade that. that was, that's why I was saying in the first episode about the skills and everything. Uh, okay, so we have... Who do we have here? Crown, he's our medic. Is anyone hurt? No one's hurt. So, we are going to reload all weapons now because there's no enemies on the screen. This is when the reload all would come in very handy. So here I'm yeah. going through each character, reloading all weapons. Yep. Not him. And him. Now, as I recall, the enemies come from that side. Let's see. Uh, wrap up. Let's do the radios first in case something ends. There we go. And this is Crown. Let's just move him in this direction. I think they come from the other side of the bridge. Mr. Sneak. Just go as far as you can. There we go. No one yet. Huh. Is that weird? Maybe there is no one else. Anyway, we need to go upstairs with Vitell. 
There's the extraction point, but we ain't going near that until we've got the wiretap radios. Now I think enemies can still spawn in when I'm heading towards this extraction, so I'm just going to come over here for the hell of it. My guy still has to go all the way to the tower. Just in case. What's cooking? Not much, buddy. Moving out. We. We. Oui, oui, let's go. And in turn. Doesn't look like it, does it? I'm go on ammo. Let's go. I'll move more. Now we can all go. We did need a reload. Uh, let's get him out of the tower and get extracted. I move. Now what I like to do at the end, for some reason, I put my, my medic in the middle. And then I put all my guys around the outside of him. At this particular point, no one has any health loss on the entire level, actually. But uh, I, don't, I don't even know if it makes any difference uh, after the game. If your guys are healed as much as they can. Now that I've got all my guys there, there's going to be an ambush. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so... Just to reiterate, guys, there's no reason to take out those enemies. I wish there was. But there's no reason to take out those enemies. You don't get any experience from them. The pitter-patter of feet like my kittens. And we are done. Uh, extract with Vitaly. Yeah, we got it. Push that button and get the hell out. This is extremely valuable. Let's pass it to London. Let's do it. Five stars. Bring it on. So let's have a look. We've got Henry. And he's another guy I didn't use at all in my first playthrough. Again, not by choice. Just didn't. Uh, trench and Carbine Dragoon. So we got some ammo or some weapons. Yeah, we are happy with that mission. So as before... I'm um, just going to have a look around and do some basic things, but I will leave the new equipment and uh, all the gear, pretty much, I'm going to leave for the next start of the next video. Okay, so we want to improve. I'd love to be able to improve that region, but we can't. There's a factory here, upgrading tiger yeah. tanks. Tiger tank factory, and here, relationship with criminals increased because I did aid faction. Uh, what I want to do first is I want to go to the base camp and do the talk like we always Honorary. do. Honorary. Then I also want to have a look at the factions and see how close I am. Okay, we're coming up to two two point something we're on. We want to get to level four get to get this what, this knife. Uh, what else did I say I could do beforehand was the skills. Yeah, let's do the skills as well. Let's go to the loadouts. Start with Cassidy. Right. So, a passive maximum health. Yeah, we want to just get those ones. Incoming morale damage by 15 and the health by 2. We'll take that. Then, again, just have a quick look. The morale over here. All allies gain 100% morale. We've got that already, pretty much. So there's no point in getting it with him. Oh, that's morale. And a decreased morale damage. Moral, moral, morale. Damn it, morale. And then reduce incoming morale damage. And here... The target ally gains 6 AP. That is essential. I want to go straight for that. There's one over here. 6 AP as well, but uh, it just costs a little bit more. The cooldown's a bit longer, sorry. 4. This cooldown's 2, which is massive. You kind of have him, have him in the background with his sniper rifle, or his uh, distance rifle, and just feed your guys. It's awesome. Um, next up, we're going to have the Medic. So over here, after using Medic, take your meds. Quit messaging about skills. Plus 8 AP. Um, you see, that's okay. The throw range, he's got a very wide grenade range. I'd like to actually increase his throw range. But he is the medic, so I, I need to go up here. Hip fire accuracy, AP, all allies. See, that's gained 6 AP after using a medic. It's like Trembley's gained 6 AP after doing a stealth kill. But there again, I know the first video I said I wanted a gun for that. But I can't allow any of my soldiers to be downed. So having a, a skill that revives all downed soldiers... It's not going to help me at all. Like Literally, it's not going to help me. I'm not even going to get that skill. One down soldier redu reduces uh, 
your star rating by one. So we can't do that. Let's do the melee attack because knifing is so important. And then we're going to do the passive skill. So every character, we're just, we're just going to do those four in a row, pretty much. Um, so low profile. Firearms accuracy, I'm not too, I don't care about that, but I need the, the health increase. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten that firearms just yet. And for Mr. Zero, he's our sniper rifle. There, that one. Sniper skill. Four cool, cool down. Now it's a six cool down. Oh, it is four. Six and four. Six and four. Oh, 40% and 80%. Gotcha. And then over here, low profile is always good. Cost of aim fire is reduced by one, uh, one point. That's really good. And so on. But let's move on. What do we have here? Again, we're just going to go through the the four in the line first. And here he has the uh, critical chance 100% on all melee attacks, which is awesome. He's my Sir Sneak, as you can see. And over here, hit by accuracy, sure. And then after killing an enemy, 6 AP is gained. And this combined with the Cassidy skill of uh, giving 6 AP, you can see where that's going. <clears throat> you could keep your character going on for a long while. Mr. Tremblay. Uh, no, we just used him. And these two have Vertel. Now, if I did want to use him, I mean, again, let's just learn the skills. Alright. So, at the start of the next video, as you can see, we have an exclamation mark there. I'm going to do the equipment and stuff at the start of the mission, rather. As well as the tasks I will send out once I know who's coming. Because as you can see at the bottom, we have fatigue. Um, fatigue on all my guys and two on Bellinger. So... The next mission is going to be Cassidy King, Tremblay, and Johnson. Johnson. I'm going to say that all the time now. It's from, uh, where is that from? Oh, Austin Powers. Johnson. Anyway, we are going to end this right here. And we're going to get ready to record our next one. So guys, pretty please, if you are enjoying the content, smash the like button for me. It really helps the channel. Any questions you have, just ask me. I'm always going to reply, guys. So thank you so much for watching again. I want to catch you on the next one.